Hello everybody, my name is Six, and today I'm in color. It's amazing, I'm never in color, but uh, today we're doing something different. I've got the day off, it's super exciting. This is usually the time when I try and push out new content. I'm also very shiny, look, I'm like the most re reflective person ever. I just blinded myself, oh my god. But anyways, as you guys all know, because of the title of the video, we're opening our indie box that I got in. I, I'm new to all of these subscription boxes, I've applied to uh, loot crate, indie box, and one up box, I think. So, indie box is very appropriate to the channel because you get a random game during the month. Now, this month's theme was the Stanley's Parable. So, can we open this? Tape. Every unboxing, I forget my trusty screwdriver because I forget to bring a knife. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Is that the only thing? Yeah. Stanley's Parable looks like a fun game. So you actually get like a a Steam key for it and a physical copy of the game. So yeah, don't want to open your box? Use your Steam key. So yeah, you can actually keep the box closed. Yeah, so I thought there might be more stuff other than a random game in here. But yeah, so we just got an actual like hard copy of the game itself. It's kind of a shame to open it, but whatever. We're going to open it because there's like more than just one thing in here. So I'm guessing this is where all the good contents come in. Just one little thing. Does it say that? Ah, it's my first time opening one of these. So you get the game disc, original soundtrack, a standard edition case, instruction manual. And that's probably helpful. This uh, Stanley Parable tie. <laughs> yes. Official business cards and ex uh, existential mouse pad and an indie box sticker. Huh. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so all that stuff is in the box. So the box is just a box to hold the box with all the stuff in it. I know what I'm doing. Stay in focus, camera. Don't do me like this. Ooh. It's a tie. <laughs> the Stanley Parable tie. I'm going to wear this while I play all my video games now. Right? I don't know. It's been a hot minute. What the hell? This thing lives in the fourth dimension. What can you do? What else is in here? Nothing. It's all gone. Got a nice mouse pad. It's a little bent. It's not flat. Don't want to do it in the, the microphone. Nobody wants to listen to all this. You get. The end is never the end. That's deep. It's a mouse pad. It's really plasticky for a mouse pad. Definitely not good for gaming. It's like all super plasticky. It's almost as shiny as I am. Yeah, so that's the mouse pad. And then you get this. That's a nice little case, steam case. Look at that. Stanley Parable. Yeah. Is there anything on here that I don't want to show? Oh, this is pretty cool. What else is in here? Two discs. Holy crap. Is one of these for a Mac or something? Two discs. Holy crap. I haven't had a disc player in my computer in like five years, I think. Disc player, a CD, DVD, ROM drive. Oh, look at our business cards. We're, uh, come on, bright ass light. Can you cooperate with me? Oh, we'll block it a little bit. There we go. Hard worker. I'm good at my job. I'm going to use these. I'm going to give these to people when they start bothering me. Skill set. I'm a real professional guaranteed to perform, to, to perform tasks that make more profit for you. Please contact if you want to exploit my skill set for profit. I'm going to give these to my roommate. He's going to a to a job fair tomorrow for where I work. And um, yeah, I'm going to have them him give these uh these these cards to him. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Probably won't get the job. It's still funny though. Let's get all that stuff in there. And we got a synergy sticker. Employees. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Ugh. There we go. I was not prepared. Yeah, so the sticker, pretty cool. I like it. A lot of stuff in this, surprisingly, for a little box. I like having like a physical copy of the game though. It's pretty cool. I think the the indie box costs like twenty four dollars after shipping. But now what we get to do is we get to play the game, which is the fun part. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Ta-da! We did it. We're ready to go. 
We're in different color. We teleported to work. We got our tie on right. Let's do it. Why are we still in the options menu? Had to get it set up. That's why. Begin the game. End is the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end loading. Okay. If you say so. Click. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Mm -hmm. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. I Orders can do that. came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. That this sucks. is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. It's an easy job. Though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy. My question is the computer and then gave one you the day something very peculiar. Really interrupted. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh, no. No one had showed up to give him instructions, uh -oh. call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. <laughs> but as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk Whoa. and stepped out of his office. I can do things. See, my question is, if the computer was giving the orders, why couldn't the computer just push the buttons itself? Boink! Can I do anything? Can I open this door? Can E do anything? No. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided dead. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had okay. simply missed a memo. We were rudely interrupted. Okay, we gotta find... Gotta find the conference room. Gotta get to the conference room. Where are you, conference room? If I was a conference room, I would not be that way. Or that way. Conference room. I wish we could sprint. That's not a conference room. We're just gonna follow the open doors and get to the conference room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. See? Left. Always go left. I say that every time in everything I do. Always go left. I don't know why it's a thing, but it is a thing. Whether you believe it or not. Conference room! Yet there was we did not it. a single person here either. Well, son of a Feeling biscuit. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other co-workers. Rinse co-workers for not supporting you more. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. Please, that everything is okay. Okay. I didn't listen to what he was saying, so I was too busy reading the slide. Don't close the doors behind me. How dare you. Oh, shit. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. That's what I was thinking. We're going upstairs. Gun. Oh, it's nice and fancy up here. Yo, boss, where you at, broski? You dead? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Nice tie, though. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Keep and that. so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh. 2845. But okay. of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Nope. No way in hell. There is no keypad behind this desk, though. Don't see a keypad. I am being blinded by my lights in front of my face. Where art thou keypad? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. <laughs> oh. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley it. happened to input the correct code oh. by sheer luck. Hello, oh, hello. He stepped into the newly oh. opened passageway. This is fancy. We going down? 
Going down. Oh. I don't know why that scared me. I didn't think this was a horror game. Maybe it is. I don't think it is. Loading, loading, loading. Making the game load. Descending We're back. deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Oh. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though yeah. he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature yeah. of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Because I'm this free! This question I'm would not bird. go unanswered for long. Do I have a flashlight? Am I gonna die? Is this gonna be a death Stanley game? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mm, do I really, though? Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, uh -huh. Stanley would meet his violent death. Wait a second, is that... Are you sure I'm gonna find my death? Is this, a, this is a never-ending hallway, isn't it? Is it? What's at the, the door end? behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Ah. You have enticed me to find out what's at, at the end. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk <laughs> forward and willingly confront his death. Is it? Am I gonna die? No! Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm alive! As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his oh. brief and shallow life. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't move. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, cruel world! I only knew thee for a moment. Wait a Farewell, second. Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was <laughs> obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing Aww. him instantly. Well, at least he did it quick. JK, I'm alive! Wait. Is this the end? And I yet it see. would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. <laughs> what exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't know. When every path you can walk has been created oh. for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making well. life the same. Do you see now? Do you yeah. see that Stanley was already dead from the moment oh. he hit start? Huh. Interesting office layout. Well, that was interesting. Filing cabinets? Okay. Office computers? What else is in here? That got deep, man. That got really deep. The office. Let's look at the cre button sounds. Boop, boop. Credits. The beautiful credits. I don't know. Well, that is the Stanley's parable. There's probably a hell of a lot more to it, but I chose the quick and efficient death. I'll probably die more ways than- I'll probably play this again. I'm, I'm definitely gonna play this again, because I definitely want to see more of the game. If you guys do want to see more of Stanley's Parable, don't forget to leave a like or leave a comment. And as always, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye Let's do it. Screw it. YOLO. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on a tree. 45,000 damage per hit. We got a whole bunch of alphas here. Ooh, okay, he only does 4.7 thousand damage per hit. But also, my damage seems to have decreased significantly.